Hello dear friends and welcome back again on this Makkad IELTS speaking YouTube channel. So today we are back again with very good video as always. So guys this video is all about documents required to apply study visa or study permit in Canada and it is new updated video. Some new documents are updated for year 2020. So we will share everything, every documents, every process in this video. So before proceeding subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon we usually update videos about IELTS every day on this channel and some more videos about informations about visas and breaking news as well so to keep updated press the bell icon subscribe this channel and let us begin the video when in which we will share the new documents the new process to apply study visa in Canada so guys basically what is a study visa and that's not actually a visa that is a study permit that is issued by the citizen and immigration CIC of that is a Canadian citizen and immigration company embassy you can say uh, which allows us to study in Canada and if we hold the study permit we must remain enrolled and make reasonable timely progress. So guys that is all about what is basically a study permit or study visa. So let us begin what are the documents required for your study permit. Basically to apply for your study permit you will need an acceptance letter from your education institution and a valid passport or you can say a travel document. Uh, usually our travel document is our passport. Ki Canada ke liye study permit ke liye hamare paas kya hona chahiye an acceptance letter from our education institution jise ki hum offer letter bhi kehte hain which we also call as offer letter which we receive from Canadian college or universities as well. So, or ek hamare paas valid passport hona chahiye that is basic thing. So, we must also have that we must prove that we have enough money to pay tuition fees. That aapko prove karna hai ki aapke paas aapki tuition fees uh, pay karne ke liye enough money hai. Uh, you must also prove that you have living, living expenses for yourself and any family members who came to you with Canada. Ki aapke paas Canada mein rehne ke liye kharcha karne ke liye expenses hai. Aur agar aapke saath koi family member bhi aa raha hai. Because usually aamare saath aamara koi family member bhi ja sakta hai. To agar aapka koi family member bhi aapke saath ja raha hai. So you must have expense to live in Canada along with your family member. And you must have a return transportation for yourself and any family member who come to you with Canada. And uh, you must be a law abiding citizen with no criminal record. Ki aapka koi bhi criminal record nahi hona chahiye. And, you, and, and uh, it, you should not be a risk to the security of Canada. Ki aapko maybe aapko police certificate bhi prove karna pad sakta hai and you must be in a good health uh, you may also need to complete a medical exam which we also call as Vida, uh, Canada Visa Medical so aapko wo bhi exam complete karna hota hai so documentation of a Canadian bank account in your name कि आपका एक कनाडा में बैंक अकाउंट भी होना चाहिए उसके डॉक्यूमेंट जो कि आपके नाम पे बैंक अकाउंट हो या फिर उसमें आपकी मनी ट्रांसफर की गई हो यूजुअली वो जीआईसी होती है जो कि हमारा एक्सपेंस होता है एंड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट और एजुकेशन लोन फ्रॉम अ फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन कि अगर आपने कोई स्टूडेंट या फिर एजुकेशन लोन ली है तो उसकी डॉक्यूमेंटेशन आपके बैंक स्टेटमेंट्स मे बी इट नीड्स अ बैंक ड्राफ्ट इन कन्वर्टेबल करेंसी कि आपने फिर दूसरी करेंसी में ट्रांसफर करनी है उसका बैंक ड्राफ्ट Proof of payment of tuition and accommodation fees कि आपने अपनी आपकी tuition और accommodation fees college को transfer किया उसका proof जिसे कि हम कहते हैं swift copy जो कि हमें bank हमें mail कर देता है या फिर हमें अपनी branch से मिल जाती है fees pay करने के बाद we get that swift copy after paying our fees from bank or our branch and a letter for the person or your institution providing your funding if you are getting any kind of scholarship कि आपको कोई scholarship मिल रही है तो आपको उस funding की आपकी college university से एक letter भी आनी चाहिए a proof of funding paid from within Canada if you have a scholarship or are enrolled in a Canadian funded educational program कि आपको उस बात का फिर आपके पास proof भी होना चाहिए कि आपको scholarship दे दी गई है कि इतनी this much amount of money has been transferred or this much money you got in funding program of Canadian funded educational program so that is all about the thing is student direct stream that is known as SDS and you can only apply in SDS case when you have IELTS 6.5 or I can say IELTS 6 only with not less than 6. It must not be 5.5 because if you will apply for 5.5 there is very less chance for SDS case visa. So you must have overall 6 bands with not less than 6. This is the minimum requirement for SDS case. 
so you can also apply for your visa online and uh, the, uh, uh, nowadays everybody apply online and that is very easy process uh, the fees for uh, study permit is Canadian $150 so you can also check that on Canada.ca and Immigration Refugee Citizenship Service website so as I already said that what are the requirements if your first language is not English your first language is Punjabi, Hindi, Korean, anything else so you must take the test IELTS and you must score overall six bands with not less than six in all modules then you can apply for your visa in SDS category so and there was more than 90% chances for the visa so that was all about the process required to apply your Canada visa some new changes how to apply how much time it take what are the requirements what are your academic requirements which shared everything still if you need any kind of help our whatsapp number is on your screen send your name to us we will add you in our group and uh, ask your any query we will try best to help you and also leave some comments for us we will look over there and we'll help you we'll meet you in our next video soon so till then take care share this with all so that everybody can take help Goodbye, take care, God bless you all.